Welcome to another episode of Space Engineers Survival. No, well, today we're not in survival. Today we are in the test lab, so we are in creative mode. Oh, really? Yep. Wait, le let me read. Let me say hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> okay. We are ready now. So what are we going to do today? Today we are... Um, I'm going to um, showcase mm -hmm. the habitat module. Habitat? Yeah. This is the habitat game module. Music is, game music is so dramatic right now. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the this habitat module. This is the module. habitat module. Yep. Okay. And the idea behind this is that the first thing is uh, to note is the shape. <coughs> yeah. The shape is like a, an hexagon. Mm -hmm. And this is because this shape, um, this geometrical shape optimizes space. Um, okay. In such a way that uh, you can have like uh, more of these uh, modules in a s relatively small space so I made a test for example um, with um, Eagle Transporter here uh, you see the Eagle Transporter is carrying two two of those can you yes. see this yes and they are relatively close together and the idea is that you could have like a cluster of these things a cluster of six for example traveling Around together ship. yes but of course not not um, not the eagle transporter is eagle transporter is not made for to carry this uh, kind of thing okay mm -hmm. <coughs> but i will show um how we could carry them so okay. but uh, let's continue with the uh, with the interior part or uh, yes first I will explain something about the exterior right it has three it I if you look in the side of it y it has four parts one is the cargo connector okay. so you can share cargo with another unit Okay. Uh, the next is um, um, merge block, so it can couple with other units, with other modules. Okay. The th the third is uh, the a door, so Sliding there door. yes, it it will it will let um, the passengers go through it, and the last one is. Um, oxygen? Uh, yes, it's, it's, yes, it, uh, is it, it is a uh, oxygen pressurizer. pipe. Yeah, well, yes, it's a pressurizer and this connection um, connects to the air of the, of the other module. Okay. The air system, right? Or atmospherics. Okay. Okay, this is this is made with a mod because obviously when you when you merge with a merge block, if uh, you have a normal sliding door and a normal um, tube conveyor tube, they will um, you cannot separate them uh, after they are joined through the merge block. So I okay. I'm using here a mod the, uh, of um, mergeable blocks. So this. Conveyor tube is unmergeable and the uh, uh, sliding doors are unmergeable as well. Nice. So this is CJ's unmergeable blocks. And um, in the other side it's the same, right? In the other side it's the same. The link in the description of yeah. the mods. Yes, I will I will do that. 
so here you have um, the same as well right so this is this is meant to work with other modules now let's go inside okay wait for me because I have access denied to everything oh okay what is this oh, this is a chair oh this is a kitchen here uh -huh. with yes. a with a place to eat <laughs> that's supposed to work together the, the the desk with the kitchen so very nice we can cook something <laughs> Make some bartending. I want, I want some space burritos. <laughs> space burritos. Same. Okay. No. And um, we have the command, the control seat for the for the module. Okay, this is what okay. we have here, and you can see right away that the there is a air vent There's that would connect. Uh -huh here to the to the to the to the exterior um, to another module so i will explain what what's the use of it um, later this uh, one but shouldn't be shouldn't this be closed what this hole right here oh uh, this is where we entered okay okay yeah i will i will show you um, later how this works uh, important is that this vent right here what I'm looking at right now is oh, okay. um, is the one that will um, pressurize the module this one okay. not this other one okay I will I will um, explain later how this other vent works and then in the middle of the module we have a bed okay yes and in the bottom floor we have a shower and a toilet so that would be like the bathroom okay and we have a survival kit a desk and lockers nice these textures are very cool these are the textures from the game or the or the mod the textures are from the game yes from the game not from the mod that's very cool okay survival kit here yes <coughs> and then another yeah, vent <coughs> that is similar to the one at the top and a door that would lead to another module so one okay. curious thing i don't know if you are asking yourself why it has oh, this um, orientation right like it yeah, seems mm -hmm. like you are in a building but then you have to turn yourself. That's why when I first entered, I felt like uh, disorientated. Yeah. Because I entered and then it was a, a ladder, but by its side, and then the bed was going to another direction. Yeah. And then, and then you were speaking of a vent that I didn't see. I thought you were talking about a, a door. <laughs> okay. Okay, but now I get it. Uh huh. Why, why is that? Okay, there are multiple reasons. One reason is that this this habitat module is made uh, for multi purposes. So okay. the 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 main functionality of this uh, module is to keep people alive to okay. um, have a sustainable environment where a crew can live and it's meant to uh, be deployed on planets and it's also meant to uh, be components of a space station for example uh, if it lands on a planet well there would be gravity that uh, that you um, the module would have to align with that gravity in such a way that it would be um, orientated in a convenient way like the module interior but if you are if this is meant to be like part of a space station where in well in space there is uh, you're falling all the time right if you're in in an orbit or something yeah. in a stable orbit 
and then it, this module is meant to be part of uh, a space station that has artificial gravity and this is uh, done by uh, rotation right okay so imagine that this module would be coupled to um, to a platform that is rotating in space in fact, some some of the videos you see of of the International Space Station, for example, uh, space station, uh, you see them go through the station like that, like rotating every time. There's no there's no up or down. Right. Across the whole station, but right in the models. Right. Uh, <clears throat> they don't have artificial gravity because they are not. Um, the space station is not rotating mm -hmm. but if we okay. could couple this for example to another even even just connecting this one to another um, such module and just rotating them it will create uh, a force like away okay. from it and this is how we create artificial gravity in space so cool. this is one module the next module I will showcase is uh, if there's a Mexican astronaut called Juan, this would be his model, right? <laughs> because Why? Juan model. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Doing some Juan model. <laughs> Mexicans. Okay, so this is Hey, I am half Mexican, by the way. So, <laughs> if anyone sees this, <laughs> don't get angry. What? I like burritos too. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm just put, putting my disclaimer here, and I can <laughs> stop because we can start. You you won't start talking, and I continue talking nonsense. Oh, you are you are connecting something to it, right? Yes, but I I. I was placing it in the wrong way. Now, okay, this is the no, this is still the wrong way. If by this point you haven't noticed, I'm talking to the to the person uh, watching this right now. Mm -hmm. I am the noob and cyber settlers who builds everything with <laughs> so much detail and functionality real life functionality so he explains to me what uh, what he's building and how it works for people like me that uh, we aren't geniuses <laughs> uh, to, to take a, a, a peek to this world of building uh, functional modules in this case in space engineers right <laughs> yes thanks for uh, <laughs> I feel flattered by those words but I really don't consider this uh, so much as uh, genius creation but simply like convenient things that I would like to exist or how would I how I imagine that uh, things could work in a good way in, in in space and this concept that I'm uh, displaying here is uh, the mod the module um, the module concept right this is the the goal of these things like you you can reuse when you when you make things in a modular way you can reuse them so for example I have um, an habitat module but I don't know if this will end up in a planet if we'll end up in a space station, I don't know where it will okay. end up. So for that, so you're trying to do it uh, dynamic uh, for the specific case it, uh, it it's gonna be used on, right? Right, like you you have like this possibility to connect this module to other parts that will then make it suitable for a specific purpose. Okay. So the purpose of the module, the module only uh, keeps people alive, right? It doesn't care about other things. 
and this other module right here I call it the hauler uh, sorry the shunter I mean this is a shunter and that means that these things this thing carry things around okay. oh this uh, is different than the other yes it has a cockpit it has okay. thrusters ah, and and right. and it's really meant is meant to carry stuff around. Okay. For example, a habitat module. Right. For example, the habitat module. And you design these models. These are your designs, right? Yeah. These these ones are. It's not something you downloaded from the. No, Steam no. Board these are these are mine. Yeah. So now let's. I will couple the two things and and uh, pay attention that in the back of the of the shunter, you see that it has the same pattern, right? Uh, yeah, the connector. A conveyor tube, uh, the passageway, the merge block, and the connector. But and in and in the front as well, right? In the front is the same. Uh, with the only exception that it doesn't have the the air tube connection just the passage the merge block and the connector mm, yeah. okay yeah. so it follows the so same this principle is the, the top part or the forward part right so now we say okay i need to give some i need to move this around this module so uh, mm -hmm. this habitat module so I will couple it the shunter okay. and for that reason I need to um, kids turn off your video because this is not your content right here <laughs> <laughs> the coupling yeah, yeah the coupling <laughs> of the two ships. you are looking at Please. close your eyes space coupling <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, oh. I I always get confused with the uh, with the directions of the Imagine if I was driving it. <laughs> yeah, not good. <laughs> Would connect it to the uh, asteroid. So. <laughs> yes, this requires and this I uh, have to um, power down the 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 gyroscopes because they are really oh, oh they're really um strong sensitive okay yes they are they're too powerful like your mama <laughs> no <laughs> Ooh. watch out okay this part here is kind of they don't want to there we go okay, okay. there now. you go Wow. Okay, yes, this part Hello. is... <laughs> what? It's better to do it with two shunters. One in the back and one in the front. Okay, now I can mm. illustrate what this uh, vent stuff is. So, y can you follow me? Yes. Let's go through the... Right. Through the yes. shunter. Okay. So currently, um, this vent, you see this vent is from the shunter, right? We have a vent in the shunter. Ah, yeah. And this vent is set to create a vacuum and to pump the air to the other side. Okay. And now we go to the other side. We close, close the, the door. door. Yes. yes. Come. Okay, now where this other vent that is connected to the to the shunter is mm -hmm. uh, made to pump air into the room all the time this one okay so okay. if by the time you don't know what's going on now i i will pressurize the room ah oh, sorry wait i will pressurize the room okay now it's pressurized 
I yes. will turn it off I again. Okay, and now we're going back to the shunter. Follow me. Okay. And here is vacuum. You see? Okay. So what does that mean? That this is an airlock. So the 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 so we can go into space without losing air. Uh, the uh, the um, it remains trapped inside the yes the other models. yes the the. Um, the survival uh, this um, habitat module it doesn't have an airlock but this connection here uh, in this way makes it possible that you adapt uh, another module that will serve as an airlock so in this case the shunter can serve as an airlock okay to the so the the the, the habitat module by by itself doesn't really work for for that uh, for the survival matter I mean you you have to check your oxygen and hydrogen when the habitat model is not connected to, to any other model that gives you the the pressurization I don't know how it's called no in this case the the module is creating um, the habitat module is creating a pressurized atmosphere the problem is that if you're inside of the habitat module with a pressurized mm -hmm. atmosphere mm -hmm. and you want to get out and the atmosphere outside is has a different pressure in our case mm -hmm. is a vacuum is space then you will have trouble getting outside, right? Because this difference of uh, pressures uh, will, if you suddenly open the door, you can be just sucked out of the of the survival uh, of the habitat module, right? Okay. Yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is that you lose the oxygen you have in your module. You lose the air. So what? what the shunter is doing here currently is acting as a as an airlock right okay and it's pumping uh, air whatever air there is back you see through this connection pumping it back yes. to the habitat module Okay, okay. So that's what an airlock does. An airlock, you go, um, it's a, like you, you need two doors, right? Uh, you need like a chamber. A chamber where in one side you have some pressure and in the other side you have a different pressure. And in the middle you have this chamber. And this chamber f begins with the same pressure as where you're coming from. Then the, okay. the door closes then the pressure is um, made equal to the other side where you want to go next and then um, after this happens then uh, the door opens and you can go outside okay, okay. right and this is and this is uh, done through this vent that pumps air back to the it's a simple airlock it's not like this uh, wait, wait a second wait a second what? Please look at the asteroid. What is it? Do you see our shadows? Yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, it's an I eclipse. Thought, yeah, it looked <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Continue. that is that is uh, the shunter. So now we can shunt our little um song let's chant our song chant i <laughs> <laughs> hope i hope <laughs> you see we can we can chant it around and it's time to um present the next the next module because oh. this could be like 
kind of slow right if I'm traveling if I want to make like a large a large trip a long trip right okay. wait let me um, I, I I am closed inside. yes you are trapped mm -hmm. I will get you out of there yeah, soon I'm trapped is what I mean. Uh, this doesn't work, I don't know why. Okay, this is... That's better. So it doesn't... It doesn't go like crazy. Okay, so... I will get you out of there. Yeah, I'm freaking the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it, it, <laughs> it seemed like... like uh, Because of the thrusters, it seemed like a... Lightning storm. <laughs> like, okay... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now let's spawn in the next uh, module. This is our next module. moment is that I don't get the right the right um, orientation because we're go we have to couple it ah, there we go there well this is is not perfect but it will do okay so this is the next module you see that again we have the same pattern right yes like the connector the merge block the passageway and the conveyor tube mm -hmm. uh the difference is that this module is in the back you see like it has a bigger uh, thruster, thruster. Mm -hmm. so this is meant as uh to give uh thrust is a is a thrust module right okay that is meant to um drive so technically you could put like five habitat models in a row and then this one at the end and right, right 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 okay, okay. you could make it like a train yes uh -huh. that would be a space train a space war yes <laughs> So this is this uh, if if people are into trains and um, and rock and space and rockets, this is like really <laughs> <laughs> the paradise for them. A heaven. Okay, so but I need to power the the back. And no, where is it? That's it. Um. Can I try to to attach this thruster model this time? Um, you want to do it yourself? Yeah, why not? But uh, y yes, now that I that I um, but I have to give you access. Yeah. Now that I um, took power out of the of the gyros, maybe you can try it out. Let me give you access. Ah, but you should have... Ah! No, because we're we, not in factions. Right? We are not part of a faction. Okay. And what... What else could I do? So Share? I'm a pirate right now. 
Share with all. Let's share with all and that's it. Okay. So, try to get in. Access denied. No, to the cockpit. You you have to go to the cockpit. No, not oh. there. Not there. Oh, I thought I was going to fly the... No, the sh you... you the shunter is for that because the other is not a like it doesn't have a cockpit. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Come to the cockpit. No. To okay. the cockpit. Access denied. No, here. Cockpit. Cockpit. Here, where I am yeah, now. Yeah, I know, but that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Here. It has a front door. I didn't realize that. Not the door. The cockpit. Not the door. The cockpit. Press F. Oh. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Okay. <laughs> so I have a camera. Okay, now Nomad will try to couple with the... Uh, with the thrust... Thruster module. Yeah. Um, Are you okay? No. <laughs> What's up? Because, because, uh huh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I I understand now. I have <laughs> to move this whole cockpit and habitat module to the. Yep. Okay. 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 <clears throat> okay let's try this. Okay, you have to align it. You have to align it with the 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 tube with the tube. Ah, uh, wait a second. Stop. Stop. Okay, so tube in top. Okay, uh, conveyor in top. Okay, now. Okay. Yes, the conveyor at the top. Conveyor tube. Oh, it's backwards. To the right. You need to. Ooh, ooh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I'm that close already. You are okay. too close now. You have to go a little bit to the to uh, forwards, 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 forwards. You're too close. Forwards. Okay, that's okay. And now um, go up with spacebar up. Up, 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 up. Okay, wait a second, because I don't. Up, you need to go up. Spacebar. I think we should put cameras. Okay, you're all yes. Now I think you you're almost there. Okay. Now you can. You can start. Um, you, uh, wait, stop, stop. You should go a little bit to the right. Yeah, okay. Right, right. To this right? Right. To the other right. Right, <laughs> right. More. There. Stop. Yeah, uh, and I have to rotate the. I uh, know. No. It's aligned already. Just. I think it will. It will. It will align, okay. Yep. Well, you you are a good driver, a good pilot. I mean, yep. You did it. Wow. Yay! You're great. I finally did it. Okay. You are great. And now look at the spaceship you have. Wow. Look at the spaceship now. you have now. Like you yes. can drive this baby to. Another planet. Another planet. Yes, test drive it. Let me go in. Okay. I will um, hitch a ride here. Okay. Let's so now, ride. guys, Nomad is driving. Whoa! And I have already artificial <laughs> gravity. <laughs> I have artificial <laughs> gravity oh. here. Wait, I. I so, I have to I, use I this. Yeah. 
Okay. I was trying to. Okay. No, no press, press uh, Z. Press Z. Nomad. Z. For the dampers. dampers off, yes. Otherwise, it's not real, like, space <laughs> traveling. And, and the rotation is very hard here. Uh, you can uh, put more power to the gyroscopes. That's because I reduced the power. I can do it for you. I will do okay. it for you, okay? Please do it, Commander. Yep. Commander and... Is that better? Design. Yeah, much better. I put it at 50%. So Say what hi. what Nomad was saying, right? The um, this uh, thing could um, could have several modules attached to it, and we will have like a a bigger ship, right? Yeah. We should do a, a train uh, in in a future episode <laughs> a big a big large train like 30 habitat models <laughs> yes okay guys i will wrap up here it's a good view with the sun yeah, on our backs and we hope to see you in the next video on a new episode of space engineer test lab don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. <laughs> like. Yes. Can Please. we get 1500 <laughs> likes this video? It helps. Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>